Welcome back, Fred Jackson Show. And now we are joined by All-Pro Special Teamer, a member of the Buffalo Bills Wall of Fame. Steve Tasker is in the house with us tonight. And I should also mention, a member of the CBS Sports crew, you do the games every weekend, so I'm guessing you didn't get a chance to see the Bills play yesterday. No, I saw the highlights, and I was keeping track of it while I was in the... I was actually in Baltimore for the Tennessee Titans-Baltimore Ravens game, and my, I, I always have the score on my... On my phone. On your right. phone. Well, I was, once a bill, I, always I a bill. was like, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well, you know, and Marv Levy drilled this into you guys and anybody in the media, you know, turnovers. You got to win the turnover, you know, the, the giveaway, takeaway. And those two fumbles yesterday really, in, in my mind, were the difference in the game. I mean, there's, things go back yeah. and forth, but those two turnovers, yeah, they, you can't hear. I, 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 yeah, and I've, I've gotten the gist of what happened. And you can watch the condensed version, but. Um, if you're going to turn it over, you know, you, this is a team that's built around their defense for right now. I mean, they got a great defense. They're playing good. I mean, Kansas City, everybody who tells you who plays them will tell you that. And they play to that strength. Uh, you know, they've got some heat for not going for it on fourth and short. But when you turn it over, you know, that's when that kind of comes apart. And uh, it happened to them twice yesterday and really it cost them. Thurman, this is the part of the show where Fred gets to ask questions of the guests. Would you like to ask your fr good friend Steve Tasker a question? <laughs> uh, no, not at this point. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Who won your game? Baltimore, Tennessee? Uh, give me a minute. Uh, <laughs> Baltimore, 21-7. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 This, yeah. this is just this like when we used to do the show together. <laughs> you know, no, I don't feel like it. Travels, there's no glamour in travel. It takes me a while yeah, to remember where I actually was yesterday. Hey, let's go to Brad Galber because I know we've got a lot of people out there waiting to ask questions on Twitter and whatnot. Brad, what do we have? Yeah, uh, this is for Thurman and Steve. It's from Mark. He wants to know, what do you guys think of the quarterback change, and do you think Kyle can lead the Bills to the playoffs? Well, I think that, uh, Kyle's playing well. He's steady. He's what they needed. I, I think he can lead them to the playoffs. They, they've got to turn it over. And I think at some point, though, he's going to have to do more. I mean, he's going to have to carry them through some wins. I mean, this is a, it's a roller coaster season. Every team will tell you, no matter who's playing quarterback, at some point that guy's going to be expected to step up and win the game. And Kyle's going to have to do that. I don't know that he's been able to do that or had to do that up to this point because of their defense and their running game. But, you know, with Fred and C.J. being out, you know, at some point they're going to have to do that. And even if they were all playing great, it's going to have to come down to that at some point. But, yeah, I, I agreed with the, the decision. They were in win, w must win, win right now. We don't want to blow this good defense, this running game. We, we, we feel like they've got a roster deep enough to win. And they went for it and made the change when they stumbled early in the season. Yeah, I, I think when you look at the overall picture, you know, Kyle, like you said, Kyle is definitely going to have to, you know, start playing better football. I think, though, on the flip side of that, I think you have to give him an offense that is comfortable. I mean, we got Sammy. We got Robert Woods. We got Chris Hogan now. Uh, Mike Williams. I mean, we have four capable wide receivers on this, on this football team. And if you look around the league, most teams have two or three. I think we have four solid guys that were, if Kyle is going to do this, they're going to have to open up the offense just a little bit more. Okay, next, Brad. Yep, uh, this one is for both you guys again. It's from Clarissa. She wants to know, uh, what have you guys seen from Sammy Watkins so far, and do you think it was smart how much the Bills mortgaged on him? Well, if they make the playoffs, it's a good deal. You yeah. know? <laughs> and if they don't, you know, everybody's going to look back toward that draft and, and, and what they gave up for next year. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a wait and see. I, I know if the Bills do make it to the playoffs, Kyle Wharton plays great then you're going into next year not even worrying about that so I, I but I, I think Sammy has been yeah he's been a, a good enough receiver so far to say okay that was that was a good pick but how great can this pick be and I think you're looking at if you find a quarterback for the next five or six years or whatever, and he's the wide receiver, I think he'll put up great numbers. Okay, uh, last one, Brad. Yep, uh, this one's from Adam, and he wants to know, a lot's been made of Marone and Hackett's play calling. As players, do you guys have to find a way to rise above that and just win? Steve? Yeah, I, yeah. You'll, you will, it's rare that you'll find players uh, complaining about play calls. Sometimes a quarterback will because he's so invested in the play. He'll, he'll have a play he likes better because he kind of knows the list. For most of us, you're out there on the field and you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's, I know what they want to do on this play. Uh, it's not thinking, well, I wish they would have done this. Now, some of the players will say, you know, like, like Dre or like Thurman even, will say, man, I want the ball. 
you know, I wish they'd have called this play because I wanted the ball. But Thurman, Thurman right, will say that. Right. But for the most part, they won't, <laughs> they won't hesitate to, to, to execute the play. And I know called. Jim never complained about the offense. That's how I got the no huddle. <laughs> hey, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back with DJ Dave Jixter right after this on the Fred Jackson Show. <laughs> 